I've been wanting to show my friends this new Linux Mint that I found. And uh, I got a brand new fresh install here. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show the non-technical oriented people how nice this sets up straight out of the box. This is the default setup. The only thing I've done to it is add this little monitor down here because I like But it has a menu a great deal like your Windows 7, Windows XP. I have no idea what Windows 10 looks like because I won't buy it. But this is the default setup. They gave you image editors, uh, image viewer. Uh, the internet sets you up with Firefox. Thunderbird Mail is awesome. You can set it up to uh, check your mail from Yahoo and Gmail and all these other people all right here on your desktop. Um, this office, this, this beats Microsoft Office hands down because it's free. If you want a new program, something you don't see here, you come in and you hit their software manager. And once again, everything you're going to see here is free. You think about what you paid for your last software program and decide what you want to play with today. Um, I know I want this one, so I'm going to bring it in. You notice the categories, 3D packages, drawing, photography, publishing. You can whittle down that way. This is called Blender. It's for 3D modeling. You can actually make movies with the darn thing. And uh, instead of paying a couple thousand dollars for something with a fancy name, you just download this here for free and install it, and you're using it in 10 minutes. It's the same thing with uh, customizing your desktop. You can. Uh, Turn off those little icons up there and make it nice and clean if you want. Turn on the trash can. You find out what your system is set up for, what kind of graphic card you have, which can help you later if you're setting up your games. Everything I plug into this just starts working. This microphone, plug in printer just plug in it recognizes it there's no sorting through menus and installing drivers it just does its job and again it's free <laughs> you can install this beside your Windows 8 your Windows 10 and have a dual boot on your computer if you want to okay this says blender is installed come over here to the menu they put it in the graphics folder for you. You didn't have to think about it. You didn't have to tell it to. Five seconds and this program is open. Ready to build 3D models and make movies. Still being developed on the fly. But these people have a different approach. They kept one of the, what they call a kernel that was stable. And they keep building from there. And, uh, as the title says, this is a review by a noob. There are technical people who can giggle at me trying to explain how this all works in the background. I will tell you, you need to have a little bit of ability to tinker because when something happens, you just open up your other computer or your cell phone, go to the forum, ask the question, come back and fix it. But uh, if you're just going to Facebook and sending emails and keeping track of your pictures, I think this is ready to run right out of the box for you and replace whatever Windows was doing for you. So there's a basic review by a new.